All right, Mr. Trussell's class, here we are again. We are out in my stream. It's a, a natural spring that starts up that direction and comes under the road and goes here. It separates one of our fields from where our house area is. Um, and right now, I'm gonna start by collecting a few rocks for the bottom of our terrarium. I want the real small rocks. So I'm looking at things like this. I need a layer of those as well as the big ones. So you can kind of see these small ones. So I'm gonna collect some of these and then we're gonna start collecting some uh, wildlife. So here I am in the deeper part of the stream looking for something. I was really hoping to find some tadpoles, but it might still be too early in the season to find any. Now I did find something that's interesting. And if I can, I'll get it out here for you. That is this claw. Mm. So that's basically telling me there's some pretty good size crayfish in here, crawdads, whatever you want to call them, um, that are around this little creek area because this is a big claw. Now there's some real tiny stuff in here, more like some pill bugs type of things. There are some water bugs. I see some minnows. I'm gonna try to grab a few of these Actually, minnows. I did catch one. He's trying to get me, but I got him right behind his claws. So he's not able to just grab a hold of me. I wish I could find a smaller one. I'd put him in our terrarium, but this is the good size one. And some water bugs. I'm definitely gonna try to get them. So I scooped some water out into one of my containers. And let's see if I can get some of these, these water bugs just to go in that container with that water, so I might be able to keep some of them. There's another one. Oh, there's three in there now. Do I have any more in my net that we can see? All right, I don't. Moving okay. on to the next. And I was able to get a minnow. You can see it down in my net. Just a little tiny fish. I don't know what kind of fish, because I'm, I'm not an expert at that, but. I'm going to see if I can get him and we'll put him in our, our little terrarium. Okay, so we got one fish and there was another water bug in here. We'll go ahead and we'll let those go. I don't want those right now. So look, now I've got all of these minnows. One's a pretty good size one. Oh. Now down in here, I just saw him. Hopefully I'll be able to get him back out again. There's a leech. I caught him by surprise and he caught me by surprise because I did not want him on my skin. went down and buried Here I see some, some grass type of, like, well, I don't know, some kind of weed or water plant. I've seen it several times. It just kind of grows in here. It's got some different bugs in it. I already see, so this might be good for our terrarium. At least a chunk of it. So I'm going to grab a chunk of this, put it in this container here, put a little water in there with it. It's used to having that water. That way. Yep, put another piece in there. So, a little more water. So now we have some plants, we have some minnows, we have some bugs. So, if there's anything else we could find, I would love to find one of those little crawdads like I caught, but I think it's just, it's not that time of year for them. So I'm gonna keep looking for a few more things and then we'll see what we can catch. Right there is a big frog. Even know if it'll jump in there. It doesn't look like it's super healthy. Is it? 
Well, it might not be super healthy because it's either playing dead or it is, no, it's alive. Look at that frog. Well, it looked like it was, I think it's just playing dead with us. Let's get it back out of its net in here. Or it's not feeling well. Yeah, you can see it moving. Maybe it's laying eggs and I interrupted it. Okay, see the this hole right here, they're all over the place this time of year in this yard. Right along, all the way down this bank. You look all the way down there and towards the woods. They're all over the place. This is where I think, if I'm correct, is where the crawdads crawl out of. So those, those crabs I caught a little while ago, they hibernate in the winter and they crawl out of these when it starts to get to the spring. Okay, right here is what I was talking about earlier. I picked up a rock earlier, a bunch of rocks, and all of a sudden this thing kind of came out at me. This isn't the same one. That one got away, but this is a leech. What a leech does is it gets on your, on your, on your skin and it sucks out your blood. Okay, let's see if I can get it to flatten itself out. There it goes. See it? There's tons of stuff on this, this brick I found in the water. Um, but this will probably swim away and it'll stay pretty flat. So go ahead and... Kind of blend in with everything. Looks like a worm. It'll probably bury itself in the hole. It was under this brick when I flipped this brick right. over. Uh, once again, class, this was me out exploring this little stream, this little habitat and ecosystem for many, many things. So remember, a habitat is something that is uh, relational to a species. So we talked about it. We, we found some crawdads, some uh, leech, we found some water bugs, um, some minnows, and some plants, and, and they all make up this ecosystem, but the habitat was for each of them and how they relate. So we'll talk more about that in, in a few, and here's exploring. Alright class, I'm back. Uh, I just spent the last day after going out and walking up and down that stream, spring, uh, waterway, whatever you want to call it, between my yard and my field. I just was out there. Uh, looking at all those, all those different kinds of creatures and animals and organisms and all that fun stuff and I was sharing it with you. So I went back in and I took some time and I started writing things down and I have like this, this journal here that I, I'm using as my, my field journal and you can kind of see I took some, some notes in my field journal on some different things. Some things I wanted to talk with you about and some things I might have messed up a little bit while I was out there uh, as I did a little bit more research. And so uh, the, the first thing I want to say is uh, that I looked up that plant and I could not find that plant and exactly what that plant was. So I don't want to give you a name for that plant unless I know what it is. The second thing was I talked about those crayfish holes and I looked them up and crayfish do not hibernate but what they do is they go below the frost line and what the frost line is is the amount of soil that will freeze when it gets cold outside. So different places in the world have different frost lines. Um, so Ohio's is, I think, right around two feet deep or so, uh, and, and so you, you have this frost line, so they bury themselves below that frost line. Um, then we found a leopard frog. That's what the name of that frog was. It was a leopard frog. Uh, and then we talked about leeches, and leeches do suck your blood. Now, but they, they more commonly eat snails or other small organisms. They will latch on to fish. Um, and like I said, people and, and anything else that gets in there that they can suck the blood and, and live off of. Now, a fun fact about leeches is, is this. They used to use them um, uh, about hundreds and hundreds of years ago. They would use these, what they thought was taking out your bad blood when you were sick. So they put leeches on you and, and they would take out your bad blood. Now, we use them today in medicine because the leeches have something that help the blood not to clot. And so some surgeries require that your blood doesn't clot, so they actually use leeches in some surgeries today. Um, the water bugs, they were an isopod, and they are more commonly known as a water pill bug. And if we look at them, it looks like a water pill bug. Um, the next one was the, the minnows. I told you I didn't know what the minnows were. I looked them up. Minnows are, are kind of hard uh, because there's so many of them. It is actually the largest family of fish in North America is the minnow. And one of the most common of them are carps, uh, or is a carp. And 
with that being said is minnows are often small fish that just become larger fish that we would know like you know bass and carp and bluegill but they start off as as minnows as small fish and that's what they call them so we covered about six different organisms and so that is my question for you today it's the very last thing i'm going to say to you if you watch this video is i want you to list those six organisms i went over them a little bit here but they're also all through the video so anyways i hope everybody's having a great day uh, i hope you found this interesting knowing all these different things that are around you and we will see you soon.